All right, I wanted to do a quick um, video to show you some of the capabilities of the VR add-on for um, the Experimental Blender 2.83. Um, it's not, it's in beta testing right now. So um, I wanted to check it out for the cloth um, sculpting tool and for the VR add-on. And this hasn't really disappointed. Um, right now you're seeing kind of a, a 3D scene that I uh, made this week with a family of geese that um, I wanted to recreate a scene I saw at my nearby lake. And so I modeled these and I added like hair particles just to try my hand at it because I'm not very good at it yet. Um, I'm brand new to Blender. So um, I used a dynamic brush with wave setting um, for the water here and it's reflecting off of a, uh, a uh, environmental texture that comes standard in Blender. Um, I just wanted to show you what the VR scene inspector add-on can do. I'm going to mirror this session and then you'll see what I see in VR, well, although you won't see it in 3D like I do. All right, so I'm at kind of lake level right now. Um, as you can see, the, the, the textures on the top here kind of reflect off of the surface of this plane that I added in Blender. Um, I modeled these geese and these ducklings and I add a little bit of hair just to give them some uh, texture. Um, I'm really pretty stoked at how awesome this looks. Um, I have, <coughs> just so you know, I have the uh, viewport very low in EV here um, because I just wanted to be able to look around without a lot of stuttering. Um, it still stutters a little bit, but I'm going to zoom out, so I'm going to have to get out of my VR session uh, mirror. Here is a different angle. Um, it, it's for some reason not coming in real well. Um, not sure why, but um, it it's still pretty cool to look around and see this in a 360 kind of manner. Anyways, just thought you might enjoy seeing this.